Hello everyone, welcome to the Codeverse. In this video, we will learn about the access modifiers that is public, private, protected and default with the help of real life analogy. All the object oriented programming concepts are inspired from the real life. So let's understand the concept of access modifier with the real life analogy. Consider a person named Ross. Ross has a wife and two children named Ben and Emma. Emma lives with Ross and Ben is living with his ex-wife called Carol. Ross has a lot of information but he wants to control with whom he wants to share that information. For example, Ross has two PhD degrees. So he wants this information to share with everyone in the world. That is, this information should be publicly available. Similarly, in Java program, the information that we want to share with every other class will be declared as public. Means if we use public with any variable, then any class in the program can access that variable. Now coming back to Ross, some information Ross only shares with his children, like information about his money. Ross has lot of money. So information about money like how much money he has, where this money is stored is shared only with his children. Doesn't matter if his son lives in his house or not. Similarly, in Java program, information that we want to share only with the child classes will be declared as protected. Means if we use protected with any variable, then that variable will be shared with all the child classes. That is all the classes which will be inherited from the parent class. Even if child class is present in the different package, it can access that variable. So protected keyword is used to restrict the information information to the child classes. Now coming back to Ross, some information Ross only shares with the member of his house like where the backup key of the house is kept and the password of Wi-Fi. Similarly in Java program, information that we want to share with every other class within the same package will be declared as default. If we don't use any other access specifier then it will be considered as a default. For example, string key location will be shared with every other class in the same package. Again coming back to Ross, some information Ross doesn't share with anyone like he had 5 girlfriends in the past and he is still in contact with all of them. So he doesn't share this information with anyone, means this information is private to him. Similarly, in Java program, information that we don't want to share with anyone will be declared as a private. For example, integer variable number of girlfriends will be accessed only within the same class. This information won't be shared with any other class. So private keyword is used if we don't want to share this information with any other classes. So similar to ROS, if we want to restrict the access of information, then we have to use access modifiers. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.